B-roll is a term used to describe secondary footage, often used as a cutaway footage, to provide context and visual interest to help tell your story. So here on Canva, as you can see, this is the video I'm working on. This is what we want to add a B-roll to it. So let's play it and see where we want to cut out the B-roll and add some. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rachel and I make videos about digital skills I've learned that has made me become more productive at work and has given me an unfair advantage over my colleagues at work. Today I'll be sharing a video with you how I add B-rolls to my videos on Canva. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You might ask what is B-roll. B-roll is a term so used... Pause. See where it says B-roll is the time. That is where I want to start adding my B-roll. You see, I'm bending my face, so I don't want to see that. So I will split it. So this is where I split it. I'll be clicking on it to preview and see whether it started correctly where I want it to. So I click on the video, click again, and go to this scissors here that shows stream the video. That's what is B-roll. You see that I want it to start at where it says B-roll is a theme. So I shift it a bit more. Uh, let's drag that. And let's preview that. B-roll is a term used to describe the B-roll is a term used to describe secondary footage, often used as... Once we've gotten that out, then I will copy the video. Since I've prepared where I want to add the B-roll, so let me copy the video here. Copy and come to the B-roll. Be sure to know how many minutes the B-roll is, the one you want to use as B-roll, so that they can match what you're reading. The B-roll is 14 seconds, while this one I've prepared is... So let's go over to this clip and click on it. This is... How many seconds now? This is 12 seconds, so we want it to be up to... 14 seconds let's size that to get to what we want it to be yeah now we've gotten that let's paste what you're doing here paste the video Now, I'm going to undo this, Ctrl Z. Just taking my video away. Okay, the video is back. So first and foremost, since I added a video, not the background here, let me detach it from the background. And let me add the footage I copied. Yeah. Let me also detach that from the background. You detach it from the background, yes. Like, so you see that you detach this from the background, then you can now go back in and place this on the background to make your work easier for you. If you've not seen my video on how to edit videos on Canva, you can check that out somewhere up there or in the description below. So let's now make our bureau happen. Now for this footage, for this clip, you're going to re remove the transparency so it's not seen when you're talking. You are taking it way down to zero. Yeah. So you can see all the clips are here is highlighted that it's here but you can't see it you see that this is what i want to roll then you come back to the footage you've cut it out from and delete that 
it joins together so let's play that and see what it looks like B-roll is a term used to describe secondary footage, often used as a cutaway footage to provide context and visual interest, and visual interest to help tell your story. You see that? That's basically how to add B-rolls on Canva. Let me know in the comment section what else you want me to make video about, what you're having, what you want to see more about Canva, and I'll make video about that. Yeah, we've come to the end of the video. Do check out the video I made about how to edit video on Canva. You will learn a lot from it. I'll link it in the description on somewhere up here. If you've watched up to now, thank you so much for watching. And do have a good one. Bye.